Okay, guys, this lesson is called the commutative property of multiplication. This is our is lesson 3-6 in our, in our textbook that we're following. Here's our common core strand. And our essential question is, how can we use the commutative property of multiplication to find products? So we'll show you a couple of examples here. Here's one. Beverly works at a bird store. She arranges 15 cages of birds in a row. What are two ways she can arrange the cages in equal rows? So we're going to go ahead and make an array, and we're going to arrange the 15 tiles in five equal rows. So here's, here's uh, five equal rows right there. That's only five, so we've got to keep going. So there's another row. I'm sorry, another, uh, so we got to keep adding into these five rows going right here. So there's 10. So we got to do one more group right there. There's 15 right there. So there's one, two, three, four, five equal rows right there. Okay, so uh, how many tiles are in each row? One, two, three. There's three tiles in each row. Okay, so what multiplication sentence can this array show? Okay, well, there's five rows of three, so this would be. 5 times 3 gives us the 15 tiles right there. All right, suppose Beverly arranges the cages in three equal rows. Show this array with tiles. Well, that would just be the sideways version of that last one right here. This is going to be three rows of five right here, and it still gives us 15 tiles. So there's still 50, uh, how many tiles are in each row? There's five right here. There's three rows of five in each row right here. So um, uh, what multiplication sentence does this array show? Well, there's three rows of five, so this would be three times five equals 15. All right, so uh, two ways Beverly can arrange the tile, uh, the range of uh, the 15 cages are in uh, five rows of three or three rows of five. Okay. So why does five rows of three and three rows of five both equal the same number? Well, they both make arrays of 15 tiles. Here, five rows of three is, uh, there's three plus three plus three plus three plus three, and that adds up to 15. Over here, this is five plus five plus five. So five rows of three and three rows of five both add up to 15. Okay, so the multiplication property, here's a multiplication property, it's called the commutative property of multiplication. And this states that when we change the order of the factors, the product stays the same. So, uh, here's an example where we have uh, two groups of three puppies right here. Okay, so there's six puppies right here, so two times three would be six right there. Here we have uh, three groups of two, there's still six puppies right here, so three times two would equal six also right here. So when I drive to work, I commute in my truck to work. Well, these numbers are just commuting around the multiplication sign. This two and three get flip-flopped to three and two. They still equal six. And so these numbers are commuting, like I commute to work, they're commuting around this multiplication symbol. So that's why it's called the commutative property of multiplication. So two times three equals three times two by the commutative property of multiplication. So explain how these models are alike and how they're different. Well, they're alike because they both have six dogs in them. But the top has two groups of three, while the bottom has three groups of two. So that's how they're different right there. All right, let's draw a quick picture on the right that shows the commutative property of multiplication. And then we'll complete the multiplication sentence. So over here, we have three groups of four. So this would be three times four. Uh, equals 12. So what we got to do is do four circles over here with three in them. So it would be four groups of three. So four times three also equals 12 right here. See, three plus three is six, plus three is nine, plus three more is 12. Over here, four plus four is eight, plus four more is also 12. So three groups of four is three times four. Four groups of three is four times three, and they both equal 12. And that's the commutative property of multiplication. Okay, here we have two rows of five. So this will be two times five, and that's going to give us 10 tiles right there. So if we flip it over, this would be five rows of two. So five times two also equals 10. That's the commutative property of multiplication. We can just flip the numbers around. Five times two is the same as two times five, okay? Hey, there's my dog, Sammy, and if you would, would you uh, click like on this video? Thanks a lot. Take care.